Baylor women's basketball is headed to the Gulf Coast Showcase in Estero, Florida. The, the first opponent will be St. Louis, but then they play the winner of, or the, depending on the result, Belmont or Villanova next. Both of those are NCAA tournament teams from last year. The bottom half of the bracket includes Michigan, which Baylor could get a rematch potentially versus Air Force. Air Force was a team that made the WNIT last year, but they did lose a couple of top scorers on their roster. After I looked, researched them, Georgia Tech is an NCAA tournament team. University of South Florida, USF, is the other team. So, I, I would say the best two teams, after we're doing all the research, it are Baylor. Yes, that's despite losing Melissa Smith, Queen Agboa, and Jordan Lewis. But they added several, tran uh, they added transfers that are pretty good and comparable to make them not only deeper as a team, but just a very versatile op and they're gonna run go up and down with you and wear you out and they have more depth and not just just enough not no, just a number of players but the quality depth at that and I would say Michigan despite losing Naz Hillman I would say that as well as some other players but still as you can tell there is this is a good field and loaded and the games would be from November 25th to November 27th each team will get to play three games in three days so it's very very good benefit for all the teams especially how where they're at and how they get could get better anyways if you like this content hit the like and subscribe button I see you guys later. It's going to be the 400 subscribers and more by the end of this year.